Those two books, you had skill books? Yes, yeah. I have two skill books on Ko right now. One for uh, brawling and one for toaster repair. The thing is, is you want to use skill books later in the game because it costs more skill points to level up skills as they get higher. So you can actually save more points by going later. Um, yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Um. Mm. One second. Uh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Man, we're getting awesome upgrades here. Uh, let's go talk to this other guy before we do anything else. Super ah, the heroes of Ag Center. Ooh. Welcome. I've been expecting you. Are you dying of electric shock? Or... Looking closer to the woman isn't quite as useful, youthful as she seems. There are a few gray hairs among the brown and a lot of lines around her eyes, but she sketches with keen-eyed intensity of a younger woman. A very tough decision, oh, considering it was your first time out. Ag Center was a good choice, though. There are great scientists over there. You knew we were coming? Every new recruit the General brings in gets around to visiting us eventually. The weapons and armor we make are what keep them alive, after all. Most are curious where they come from. I imagine you're no exception. What kind of weapons do you have? We service, repair, and reinvent every kind of weapon. From knives and handguns to rifles. Even energy weapons, when we can get our hands on them. We don't do explosives, though. That's TNT Tan's department. Go talk to Sergeant Melson if you're looking to purchase your armaments. I only issue my interesting pet projects if you've got a requisition order. Okay, let's do... What kind of armor do you have? We have everything from sturdy leather jackets to hand-forged plates to the finest reconditioned pre-war combat armor we can find. You'll have to pay for the more expensive items. Research and repair doesn't come free, but we aren't out to make a profit, just to recoup our expenses. Go see Sergeant Melson for that. By the way, big thank you to our buddy Densi21 who bought a beanie. There are less than 80 beanies left. Really appreciate that, bud. Thank you, thank you. Code.tv slash beanie if you want to check them out. I've got some custom, interesting armor, but the General's orders are to save those for special loadouts only. Rude. You make weapons here? Well, that's a bit of a misnomer. We do make some of them, the really interesting ones, but mostly what we do here is refurbish scavenged weapons and armor. One thing we hope our Rangers will do is collect any broken down weapon parts, stray bits left over from modding, what have you, that they find as they patrol the wastes and bring them back here to Melson over in the quartermaster's office. In exchange, he'll buy it off you at a great markup. What do you think of TNT Tan? Nicest guy you could ever want to meet, but shall we say less than cautious? He's nearly blown himself up more than once. He likes creating experimental explosives, just like I like working on experimental weapons and armor. Though I dare say my safety record is <clears throat> a trifle better than his. What about, what is Sergeant Melson like? He knows his guns, I'll give him that. Though I wouldn't have him in my shop. He's not nearly focused enough. Interesting weapons? I'm interested. Huh. <laughs> the interesting ones are my department. I'm always trying to come up with new and better weapons and armor using bits and bobs we have lying around. Can't just give them away, though. Creating them takes a lot of our precious resources, so the General is pretty tight with the requisition orders. You do not save any points by saving the skill for later. You can test it when you level up, level up next time. You can see that the le next level cost is moved one step to the right. Well, okay, no, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So if you level up, let's say leveling up to three, four, and five costs two, four, and six skill points. If you level it up here, it'll just push the two to the right. That's true, but it'll save you that two skill point. But if you spend two and four, and then you use it to get to the six, then it will take, it will use more points for that jump. See what I'm saying? So like, especially think if think if you were going from nine to ten, you'd be saving the entire cost of the nine to ten jump instead of the two jump when you push it all to the right. Does that make sense? 
So I'm I'm 90% certain you you do save more skill points if you if you wait until later. Yeah. I think. Probably. Uh how would I get a requisition order? Hmm. Well, the general keeps a tight grip on requisition orders. All of the officers in the Citadel have the power to give them out. But only if we think a particular weapon would be necessary for the successful completion of a mission. Or if we're impressed by how a ranger team completed a difficult assignment. I can hand over one piece of tech for each wreck you earn. Ooh. But just one. So make sure you think oh. it over before you take the first shiny we're gonna thing have a, you see. We're going to have a choice. Vargas is a man of vision and prudence. I know a lot of the rangers think he's too cautious, but I can't agree. Slow and steady is the way to go. He's done an amazing job rebuilding the rangers after our war with the robots from base Cochise, and we're stronger than ever before. That doesn't mean, however, that we should now go charging off to fight everybody and their brother. We must expand gradually and fully assess all threats before taking action. Oh, wait a second. That is a good point. So if you were to use it last, or if, if you were to use a skill book now and it were to push everything to the right one, then theoretically that means that you wouldn't then have to pay the final price to get to the rank, the max rank. Because then you would already have that pushed. So I actually think he's right. Yeah, I think I think that's actually accurate now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, interesting. Hold on. I'm going to figure this out. So, if we spent 1 2 3 4 and then it cost 5 points to go to the end and then we were used to use a skill book, then it would be like that. So, if we were to use it here, it would still be like that. And then if we were to use it at the end, it would be like that. So he is right. It's the same amount of points. You can see it right there. Yeah. You're always saving the five. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You need to divide the root of an oak tree by M&Ms. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. DXB says, wouldn't it be... Two, three, four, five. No, that's what he's saying. He he was saying that it pushes the cost. Now, in my mind, I thought it worked like this. I thought it. I thought it did like when you use the skill book. I didn't know it actually pushed the cost, so I thought it went like that. In which case, if you used it there, you'd only be saving one point. Or if you used it there, you'd be saving five points. But what he's saying is that he, it actually moves the cost of future skills. So that's that's where the difference is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, threats. What threats do we face? The others say that our biggest threat is the Red Scorpion Militia, who have taken over the prison which used to be our headquarters. They've been getting more organized and settled, and the fear is, now that they've established themselves, they'll start expanding their borders. What I say is, this will make them easier to negotiate with. You might want to test it before no going all in. We have will. nothing we will. to lose. A clan with towns and farms to protect thinks twice about risking their destruction by going to war. I we say can test our biggest threat is expanding yep. too fast. Let's make sure the communities we patrol are fully protected before we go looking for more. I don't know. I don't want to know about coaches. Well, I wish I had been a ranger okay. then. Uh, robot reports, legs. General Vargas said to bring you this robot leg. Hmm. Let's have a look at it. Remarkable, but unnerving. I've never seen robot tech this advanced. It'll take me some time to give it a full examination. So, if you'll excuse me, I... Fascinating! Oh, you're still here! What can I do for you? The, the leg? You want to tell me about the leg? Uh, the general gave us a requisition form. Well, let's save it before this. Thanks for visiting, recruits. Come by any time. A woman of science. Lovely to make her acquaintance. That's, oh, you're... what can I do for you? Oh, yes, I forgot. The general mentioned that. He ah, was so VIP. pleased you found Ace's killer that Thanks he asked me to let you have your pick of some of my more interesting creations. Let's see. The general allocated a requisition for you. 
for completing a thorough investigation of Captain Ace's death site. What? Uh, I, I guess plus five this one, I guess? Looks like you're out of requisitions, Rangers. Remember, it's just one okay. item per re Some very- Hmm, not seeing anything allocated for you, Rangers. Rude. Sorry. Wait, Thanks how do I talk to you about the recruits. legs? Come by anytime. Good to and see you. And go see you. Sergeant yeah. Nelson if you're looking to shop. Likewise, Did Captain I, like, Death. miss dialogue or something? Um... That was weird. I, I'm kind of very interested to know about this leg. Uh... Huh. Save him for later? Yeah, I think I will. Oh, wait, who's this guy? A grunt man in his 30s over a table cleaning and oiling gun parts. He's smeared with oil and sweat and seems to be trembling slightly. Listen, I heard you talking to the merc captain just now. Well, everything she's got is solid merchandise, but as you may have noticed, Melson's going to make you pay through the nose for the good stuff. Well, I got a little toy collection of my own, and I'd be willing to let him go for a lot cheaper. Are you interested? What kind of good stuff? Big guns, energy weapons, rockets, sniper rifles, all top quality. Okay. Should I? I don't know if I want to deal under the table. Um, how are we feeling about this? I I don't I don't know if I want to do this. I think I'd rather just be like the good ranger. Did someone beat me to DZX Beast? Uh oh, I see a Jinko person. Uh oh. I wonder if there's any benefit to turning him in. Um. There's no benefit to turning him in. Okay. Won't tell. Oh, oh. Oh, damn, for 149? Dude. 95% chance to jam. What? What? 95% chance to jam. What is this? What is this? Dude, what? Trying to raise money for a family emergency? Why does your family need money? Turn on my sister. I can't tell you more than that, but it's important, I promise. Can you do a guy a favor? Your sister in trouble? I'm not saying anything more about it. Will you help me buy a gun or two? What you're saying doesn't make any sense. Something pretty terrible must be going on for you to risk getting kicked out of the Rangers for it. Look, it's my sister. Getting interested in the guns. I gotta get a letter to her. It's important, but I can't leave the Citadel. Will you take it to her? She li sure, I'll take it. Okay. What's so important about this letter? Between me and her. Oh, kiss ass level four required. Hey, talk to him again. No, I can't. Oh. Um. What was my last save? 48. Hold on. Save it. Oh, just two minutes ago. Okay, we're gonna load the quick save. So I'm pretty sure Triwar is about to level, and I and I can just get Kiss Ass level four. Yeah, dude, everyone's leveled. So so before we talk to this guy, let's go level. I think I can level it by Vargas, maybe. Welcome back to Rangers. Still here, recruits. Echo Aha, one. Congratulations. Yes. Make us proud, recruits. Okay. okay. Beautiful. Also, I wonder... I wonder how much money I would make if I bought all those guns and then broke them all down and sold the weapon parts. Would I make more money, you think? Hmm. All right, try work. His ass level four. Beautiful. No, I wouldn't. Oh, it's RNG. Yeah, that's a good point. It's super RNG. Because you can get a, a wild... Wildly different amount of stuff, so that's a good point. Uh, leadership five, let's do it. Actually, do I? Maybe I want you to. Yeah, let's let's tune that down a little bit. Actually, I kind of need you to get better at 
Oh, we do have rows for computer science, but I do kind of want to have a backup. Um, let's do two. Two. That's fine. Let's do that. Maybe we can do that poster now. Uh, seven. And mechanical repair. Sure. Do I have perks now? No, not yet. Okay. You're already level 10. Uh, you will get up your... I'm going to save her points. And you, we're going to get up your computer science. Yeah. Great. Okay. Oh, she has a perk point. Um... 10% chance of finding bonus ammo when looting. I'm going to get that on her. I want that on somebody. I do. I want that on somebody. Ooh. Perk on Nuri. Uh, do these stack? If I get Powder Packer on a lot of people, do they stack? How come no one has shotties? Uh, Rose uses shotties a little bit. Yeah. Uh, upon finding a junk item, 50% chance of finding another junk item. Loot! Oh yeah, taking it. Okay. Rose does not use shotties. Oh, that's right, she uses pistols. Oh, we don't have a shotgun user. Yeah, we got it. We got to get a good shotgun user. All right, here we go. Uh, good stuff. Quality. Interested. Won't tell. I don't want your crap. Money. Your sister in trouble. Saying. I will take it. Important. If the situation is anywhere near as desperate as you sound, you should just resign. Family's got to come first. I, you're right. I'm such a damn coward hiding in the Citadel. I'm eating while drinking while while Caddy's out there. Katie's out there struggling in the Realm Nomad camp, trying not to get caught by that RSM piece of ish. He thinks he effing owns her. Oh wow! Oh damn! Whoa! That was a big change. Okay, so he's going to help her now. Damn! Wow! We gave him a pep talk. All right. Oh, cool. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 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 Uh, where are these guys? Hmm. Hmm. An older ranger wearing an immaculate uniform stands at one of the cafeteria tables. He salutes you as you approach. I'm Corporal Evan Hocko, one of the recruiters here at the Citadel. I was wondering to make sure your kids are settling in. I'm also the liaison for any volunteers who wish to help out rangers on a non-permanent basis. Oh, this is the NPC guy. Um, okay. What happens is you've got more volunteers and spots to put them in. You send them to us. That's what. If you want a volunteer to be able to join you later, tell them to come to the Citadel and we'll take care of them until you're ready. Great. I'm authorized to offer you a bonus for every volunteer you recruit. And a bonus. Scrap, entitlement. You can use the first one you want. The second is an accelerated promotion merit. Found a recruit. Oh, I'm not going to leave them. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let's save it. Maybe maybe we can offer these two people up and then just... There's Angela Death. Okay. You kill me. Uh, Sister Rose. A lot of teens are going to take new strength. You got to have some brains too. What time you listen to bonus? Merit. Awesome. Great. Okay. And Rose is still with us. So, I mean, that's just like 3 XP. Fantastic. Okay. Hi, you hungry? What's for lunch? Same as breakfast, mm, only with gravy. Delicious. <laughs> okay, uh, I gotta blow my nose real quick, and then we're gonna keep going. One second. All right, all right. Thanks for hanging it tight. Dude, I'm ready to be done here because I'm going to go out with all our new toys. <laughs> oh, man. I am so ready to go and start adventuring again.
Hey, Ranger's name's Bell, Sergeant Bell. How's it going? Bye. Um, what is all this stuff? An ancient air traffic control computer. Can we fix it? Nope. That's too bad. Do I have ammo? Uh, we have some weapon parts and stuff to sell. So, um... We, we may check that out in a little bit. Oh, I can't unlock it. Okay. Yeah, we're before we go, we're going to do a big account of our ammo. We're going to sell all the weapon parts we have. See if we get any more loot down here anywhere. We can sell that too. Oh. Oh, it's Tan. Uh, hey, hang back a minute now. I'm just finishing up this priming assembly. And it's a little tricky. Nice work saving Ag Center recruits. I know we, uh, we need high pools water, but Ag Center grows those watermelons. I like blowing up, so that's good. A leather tough Asian man with a welding mask flipped up to reveal a friendly, deeply lined face. You know what's also a friendly, deeply lined face? That right there. Um, you also notice he only has two fingers and a thumb on his left hand. Ah, they're all done. Now what can I... Oh, it's a Heroes of Ag Center. Come to see where the magic happens, huh? Well, this is it. I'm TNT Tan, the man who makes all your problems disappear in a puff of smoke. Oh, I love it. All right, so you knew Ace? Oh, of course. Uh, the latest casualty in Vargas's war on ghosts. Why a good man had to die chasing a few garbled radio signals, I don't know. Ace was one of our best. A veteran who knew the waste like the back of his hand, and some robot kills him? Yeah, good men die in the waste all the time, but his death wouldn't feel so pointless to me if he had been fighting a real threat. And what threats would those be? Ugh. I'll tell you what the threat is. It's that VIP rampaging through my chat room. That's what the real threat is. Um, okay. We're gonna get caught with our pants down, right? You know about Hypool? We got we got our water from them. Good folks, if a little mistrustful. And you failing to save their reservoir ain't gonna help that. You don't think the signals are important? Uh, I don't believe they are live broadcast at all. I think it's a bunch of pre-war loops that we're finally hearing because the air is getting cleaner. Mm. Okay. You think there's anything with to the radio mystery? Seems like more of Vargas's craziness to me. He goes from sitting on his hands to chasing ghosts in one jump. Why do they call you TNT? Because I'm the guy that makes the bombs. Duh. <laughs> uh, yep, I'm the Wizard of Boom, the Sorcerer of Shrapnel. If you need to put a little bang in your party, I'm the man to see. Now you can get the regular off-the-shelf stuff from Melson up in the Quartermaster's office, but if you need something special, something that'll make a real impression out there, come see me. I can show you the fun stuff. Fun stuff? Ooh. I see, I see, I see. Sell junk. What did I just sell? Anything? I don't think so. Okay. I don't know much it's a little pricey, but you have no idea what I have to go through to make it. Uh, what do you think of Vargas? Up oh, here's Cochise and Darwin. Yep, we already we already know about this stuff. Is there anything I can help you with? It sure is. All the Rangers know that I'm always looking for bomb making supplies, particularly ammonium nitrate. And you find that shit in, well, shit. So if you come across any cow shit or even better bat shit or any fertilizer, bring that shit back to me and I'll trade you some good shit. Got that shit? Oh, have a look at this shit. Shit, yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> okay. Um, Mr. Triwar, our commander of poop. Nice. Damn, 59 each? 10. Oh, dude, this is so good. He just made so much scrap. Hell yeah, man. We have got shit. <laughs> well, shit. Any other shit I can help you with? Dude, this is like a bad South Park episode. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Hey, Hi Perilous. What's up, buddy? Uh, all right. Let's see. I think we're good here. Great. We gotta be almost done here. We have, yeah, we have, we only have like two rooms left and then we're good to go. What's in here? Only authorized personnel are allowed in the brig. Uh. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? It's really well done. I like that perspective. Uh, oh, this is this guy. Wait, are we done? Oh yeah, we're done. There's nowhere else to go. 
Oh, we gotta get back there somehow, but that must be for later. Okay. Is there anything else we have to do here? I don't think so. Let's get our logbook real quick just to double check here. Still the repeaters to do. We have to fix the rest of that. We're gonna look for the rest of Ace's logbook. Find painkillers. Okay. So wait, I, I have painkillers, don't I? Yeah, can we like sell these to him maybe? Maybe maybe we can give him these. Let's check before we go. Ah, here we go. Okay. So does he buy him for more? Is that the thing? Oh. No, it's about the same. Okay, let's just sell those. Great! Okay, so we got some XP for it. There we go. All right, so we're going to do one more big buy, sell, and bank, and then we are out of here. Uh, hey, Co, curious, how much of your audience is a sub? It seems like you have more subs than non-subs. Um, well, right now we have 12,000 people watching Fallout 2. Or, wait a minute. Thank you very much. Uh, I currently have... 17,300 subscribers. So I do have like 30, 40% more subs than viewers, but you do have to keep in mind, I stream over like an eight hour period. So, you know, people like duck in and dive out and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so uh, I have a very, very supportive sub community who I really appreciate. Um, it's also important to mention out of that 17,000 number, a lot of those are gifted subs. So that number's a little inflated. I'd say, honestly, there's probably more around like 11 to 13,000 like paying subs because we have a very, very, very uh, nice community here. And um, yeah, so that's that's kind of how it works. We, we do have a lot of subs here, but I do like to stress to people that subbing is kind of like the icing on the cake. You being here is the cake. So you you don't need to be a sub to be a part of our community. Uh, you do not need to tip cheer or anything like that. You don't really need to do anything but watch. You don't even need to say anything in chat if you don't want to. Hell, lurkers make our stream. Um, so, yeah. I mean, subbing is fantastic, and it's the reason that I can play games for you every single day. That is the reason, which is why I love my subs to death. But it's not mandatory. Um, and it's thanks to the subs that I can say that. So, thanks, subs. Okay. Uh, do you find any m markings? What am I finding him? Markings? Hey, Emilson. How are the guns? What were the markings? I totally forgot. Uh, oh, the oh the weapon parts. Yeah, yeah, it's the weapon parts. Okay, okay. okay. There's another, there's another big amount, man. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We're gonna look at Ko. He's got 37. Okay, you're fine on ammo. We could probably get like 30 more bullets here. You're fine on SMG ammo. You could use a little bit more. You're gonna on shotgun ammo for your Rose's Thorn. Whoa! Oh, that's the store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is all squad. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know we had an all squad. That's great. Okay, so we need to get... Um, oh, maybe I should buy some armor. Ooh, maybe I should buy some armor. Could buy another M16. That's right. Uh, it's 5 AP, though. Wait, what's the one we bought for? Oh, we bought the Fomus for Co. Oh, wait, the, the person outside is a Fomus, doesn't she? Yes. Okay. That's right. Uh, oh, we can get a nice... Um, oh, yeah, we can get a nice pistol for Nuri. Ooh, and a nice SMG, maybe? Let's get this nice pistol for Nuri. Yep. What are these? Oh, oh, wait. Do I need to buy... Did I just... Does that use 45 ammo? 
No, nine millimeter ammo. But zero available. Uh. Oh, I gotta buy her some of this. Like 40. Okay. Then I need. I five six. We'll buy like 60 more of that and split it between our guys. I need more of this for Barry. Buy like another 30. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh-huh. Wait. Where'd all that stuff I bought go? Oh, it's on. It just wasn't sorted. Uh, okay, this is going to bury. We're going to do half to you. And half to you. Oh, that's right. We still got to sell these tickets, too. Is there, okay, is there any reason I need these exploding pod fragments? Can I just sell these? Yes. I'm gonna sell these now? Okay, good. I'm gonna sell these. 